Hey guys, welcome to my video. I hate when people say that, but <laughs> what else do you say? Um, today I'm filming a day in my life with chronic fatigue syndrome, but I just wanted to start with this little introduction, I guess, just to talk about the fact that it's really difficult to do like a typical day with chronic fatigue, um, especially for other people that might be watching that have chronic fatigue syndrome or people that are wanting to understand what it's like. Um, it's so different for everybody and also it varies so much depending on where you're at in your journey. So I've been sick for seven years now um, and the first three years I literally just stayed in bed all day every day. I'd go for months without even leaving my house. So I've come a long way since then um, but I'm also not as well as I was say a month or two ago because I've had a little bit of a setback so even if I filmed most of my days at the moment since I haven't been feeling as great it would be a very boring video because I'm literally just resting every day um, but I've felt a little better the last couple of days so I thought I would um, do some things and obviously I chose to film on a day that I'm actually doing something so it's a little bit more interesting but yeah it's just for a little bit of fun and um, I hope you enjoy and I will go back to the start of my day <laughs> Then I just spend the next minute really being annoyed with myself <laughs> about my weight. Next I take my tablets. I take two of these which are like adrenal support. Um, I take two of these which are just like um, to stop getting sick. I take vitamin B12 and then a complex B. I take four chase tree because that's for like my hormones and I take one ubiquinol um, which just puts like oxygen in your blood and then I just take a vitamin D which I don't take in the summer but because it's like winter I just take one of those. This is our spare room, um, which mum isn't thrilled about the fact that I've taken over. Um, this is like my cupboard from my room and I do all my makeup here and everything because my brother and sister don't live here anymore so I've taken over the whole house. <laughs> going to choose out my outfit for the day. Um, usually this would take me forever but um, I already planned yesterday what I was going to wear so I'm just going to wear this um, little top and some matching mustard coloured pants. So I'm dressed. This is my outfit. Um, I might just take a jacket in case it gets cold. Oh hi, I was just wondering if you had any appointments um, with Dr. Kaufman available this week? Yep, okay. Um, 
That would be good? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So I'm just going to pick my friend up. We're going for breakfast. It's going to be like lunchtime. Um, but she texted me this morning and she's like, oh, can you just pick me up? And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. And then she's like, oh, I'm still just in bed with my dog. Um, and Hannah has like no regard for time or anything. But that kind of suits me because then I was just like, oh, yeah, all right. And then I just took like an extra hour to get ready. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be pretty hungry by the time we have our breakfast. Um, but that's okay. It'll be even better when we have it. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, you got your hair cut. Yeah, mine and Kerry cut it yesterday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have never seen it that short in my whole life. Why are you filming out that camera? Oh, <laughs> uh, because I'm so fancy. <laughs> oh, super fancy. Oh my gosh, it looks good. Oh, thanks. It's kind of a bit like up and down. but anyway. Is it? I feel like this side's a little bit flatter. She's a hairdresser, isn't she? <laughs> she is a hairdresser. But anyway, whatever. I just want it, like, I can get it in, like, a little ponytail. Yeah. Oh, you can yeah, put it in pigtails. Yeah. I feel like you're five again. Yeah. I know you again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It was, like, from when we were little. Yeah. <laughs> you're just going to create a video vlog. Mm -hmm. A vlog. A vlog. <laughs> Fingers. <laughs> It's all good. No, I feel gym. like we're a real fatty. Hannah's having like one egg <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> Although I didn't get the waffles, so I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, you've got all the healthy greens and stuff. Yeah, like that. that's right. Although it said it was going to have pesto on the bread, and I don't see any. Oh. Disappointing. I think it has ever had pesto, maybe. Maybe I read wrong. I am dyslexic. <laughs> see, issue, Hannah. <laughs> She's got a chunky bit in her drink. We just tried to take a selfie together and her, it was like 20 attempts. It wasn't great. It's not coming out. It's just a chunky bit now. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna head off, get some snacks. Yeah. Watch some TV, watch Make some movies. Um, Clueless. Oh, I've never seen that. I mean, you seen Yeah, Clueless? I think you oh should watch God. it. We are watching Clueless. All right, done. <laughs> Wiggins. <laughs> Watching Clueless. <laughs> I'm back from Hannah's. I can't believe I've never seen Clueless. Like, I mean, now that I've seen it, I'm like, how did I never see it? I feel like it's one of those like rites of passage that you just have to do. And like, I loved it, but I feel like if I'd seen it, you know, when you see something when you're like at a more impressionable age, like if I was like 12, it would have been like one of my favorite movies ever. But it was really good and I actually had a really nice day with Hannah. She's going overseas for like a year or like indefinitely. Um, so it was really nice to spend like one last day with her and I'm just like really sad that she's going to be leaving. She's like lived back at home for like a year or so. Um, and we hang out like literally every couple of days. Like she only would work like a few days a week. So all the time we'd just be like hanging out, going to the beach, having picnics. And I'm just like really disappointed. But anyway... I'm home, I'm just gonna get into something comfy and dad has promised to take me shopping. But yeah, so we're just about to head into town. I just realized when I'm like, dad's gonna take me shopping as if I'm like one of those little rich girls, like, daddy's taking me shopping. Um, no, you'll just see why because um, I can't like walk very far since I have chronic fatigue. Like I can do little things, but I can't like do big things. So I have to take the wheelchair, which is super fun. Um, and dad has to push me around. So he's like really nice to offer to do that. Plus, I just really love going with him because he's, like, pretty much the cutest person ever. So, um, I'm just, like, really looking forward to it. <laughs> Good old dad. Are you super excited for our shopping trip? Super. Do you love Kmart? <laughs> um, it's alright. It's better than BW. Oh, it's better than Big W. You heard it here first. Mm. Into the favourite world of Kmart. <laughs> Which one do you like better, Dad? The plain colour or, or the blue palm trees? Plain. Alright, done. I'm not going to lose you. I'm going to be following you. Unless I Maybe I'll go to the clothes section while you look for the camera tent. Waiting for our perfect lunch. <laughs> well, it's like 5.30, but we've just put a couple aside and if something better comes along, we'll snap it. Got 
the chicken and ever. Oh, good job, good job. I can't even pick them up with mine. <laughs> Sorry guys that I didn't get more footage shopping, but Dad told me to get the camera out of his face, which was very rude, I thought. Um, but then when we went to sushi, we did have a bet um, about whether the chopsticks were reused or whether they threw them out. And Dad bet that they threw them out, but they are reused. So he owes me five big ones. Isn't that right? Were the two? It was worth it to find out, yeah, mm. that they actually do reuse them because we were a bit concerned. Just luckily got five dollars, so now you have to take me out for coffee. We wash, we wash. Yes, he's like, we wash, we wash. <laughs> and he was like, but you can buy some at the Asian market. And we're like, no, it's fine. We just wanted to make sure that you reuse them. <laughs> just thought I'd quickly show you what I got from Kmart. I just got this headband uh, thing, some sunnies, and then... I bought a couple of scrapbooks, which is what I went there for. I wanted to make a scrapbook of my America trip and then just a photo album to put them in. And um, and then I went to Sanity and I got these Seasons of Parenthood. And the craziest thing, I must have gone in there like a couple of months ago and bought Season 1 and 2. Um, and I must have told the girl that I bought them to watch with my nan, which I did. Anyway, we've watched the first two seasons and I went back and like I haven't been in there for like a couple of months. And she goes, when I put these on the, um, on the bench, she goes, oh, um, you were going to watch those with your nan, weren't you? And I was like, um, I don't even know the girl. I was like, yeah, you have like a really good memory. Um, but maybe just because... Maybe just because I was in um, the wheelchair, I guess, like, I'm more memorable or something. Like, Anyway, since I've just got back from shopping, I feel like I need to rest, um, lay down for a little bit. But mum and dad are watching the news, and then sometimes mum just wants to watch, like, really boring... Not boring, but they kind of depress me shows. Um, so I've just come into my room, and I'm just gonna relax and watch some Friends. <laughs> I'm just going to go and put some dinner in the oven and then have my shower real quick. So it's 11.30 which is actually a pretty early night for me. Um, I'm usually up till like midnight or just after but I'm trying to get into a better sleep routine. So I'm going to go to bed. Every single night without fail I put these little shorts on before I go to bed and they're like compression shorts like tiny um, and like really elasticy, and um, they just like stop my legs from aching at night. They're like a really attractive look <laughs> but no they're just like I don't know it's like they hug your legs so they don't like ache as much and I literally can't sleep without them. And then again I take three of these literally cannot sleep if I don't take magnesium like I can get to sleep but like my legs just like keep me up aching all night so I take three of those good night and I hope you enjoyed a day in my life um, as I said like I just gave you like a little glimpse of some of the things I have to do because of the chronic fatigue but it's not exactly like a typical chronic fatigue day um, for example tomorrow I'm doing nothing so I don't think it's gonna be a very interesting day but thanks so much for watching guys Good night. <laughs>